Hi everyone, Jai Mata Di. I hope in Achievers package now you know what all videos are there in Main Engine. If you have not watched till now, please go and watch the earlier video. I hope you have gone through the videos what all there are in Auxiliary Engine. What all you are going to see in the Achievers package. If not, please watch the earlier video. I request that. I insist that. And now the another video is what all next apart from Main Engine and Generator you are going to find in Achievers package. Let's start with that. So first thing is guys. Funnel inspection. What is funnel, guys? One of the most important one. This is the highest point on board ship. So this is the highest point on board ship. We go up to the funnel and let's have a look. It was raining that day, guys. So this is I'm standing on on the funnel right now. But the inspection is literally very important. You need to see what you need to check. Please don't look at the outside view how good it looks, but look. A lot of efforts have been put in to make this video and to make you help you understand what all you need to see. Funnel is that place where all the exhaust is coming from, main engines, generators, incinerators, all these places. Generally, it's a very hot place, but the climate was cold over here, and these drains are very important. Again, <clears throat> next is so the funnel inspection has been taken care of. Now let's come to the next part. That is lube oil testing, guys. Lube oil testing on board ship plays a very important. Many a times, fourth engineer, third engineers are carrying out lube oil testing of main engines, generators, stern tube, right? And what oil test? Water test, water and oil test, TBN test. These are a few tests or viscosity test. Why they are carried out? How they are carried out is very very important. I see so many junior engineers making a lot of mistake in understanding this concept, and that is why I felt there is a big need. To make videos on lube oil testing, and that is what I've done. First of all, a basic description on lube oil testing was given. This is the lube oil test kit. Generally, you will find a quick kit very similar to this on board ship. So, if you know why, it will be very easy. Again, I'm discussing the importance of manual over here. You can see this. We have got a small kit out here. We are discussing from that. Okay. Then I'm carrying out TBN testing over here. Now, what is TBN? Why are we carrying out TBN testing? How are we carrying out? How are we calibrating the sensor? Is very very important. So please watch this video carefully. Water in oil test. How much water is there in the oil? Because we do not want water to come in oil. Because if water comes, the viscosity increases. It is very very harmful for the lubrication part. That is being checked over here as well. Copper. Next. Spot test. This is a test carried out to see how much. You A carbon residue is there in the lube oil, and whether we need a lot of purification or not. So this is the spot test being carried out, and this is a sample how a spot test looks after 24 hours, and how we analyze. I have discussed in this video itself. Less apart from this is viscosity of the lube oil is being checked. So what we do, how we do, what we check, everything is mentioned in this video. Very very important. Done. So apart from that, this is corrosion. Guys, I have covered ICCP (Impress Current Cathodic Protection) over here. This is one topic which I always get confused with. So I made this video so that even I can recall this topic easily if in future I need to go through this topic. So I have first of all explained the ICCP system out here, how ICCP system works. Before that, I had to talk about electrocatalysis, cations, anions, cathode, anode, and then this is the ICCP functioning taking place out here. Can you see? and then i have taken you to show you a practical engine around of the iccp fitted on board ship done now let's go to mgps that is marine growth prevention system another important video another we need to know what is mgps and how important it is so that is what is being explained out here copied can you see and last and uh, sorry i am taking you to show you A practical engine round of the MGPS system over here. So these are the MGPS cathodes fitted over here. There will be coming some images as well to show you how the MGPS cathodes of aluminium and iron look like. Again, the theory finishes out here. Whatever limited part was remaining, I have discussed it over here about the high C chest and the low C chest. Now comes shaft earthing. This is also important, very very important video on shaft earthing that is being discussed over here. and you can see electrochemical series mein how it looks like and covered in a very very simple way can you see i am talking about hydrodynamic lubrication over here and everything again a very important video 
I am going to take you to a round of the sharp earthing system to see how much millivolt reading is there. So this is what you t this reading you take every day when you go for an engine round, and I am showing you how you take and what you check. If it increases, what you need to do. If it decreases, then also you need to think why. So this why is very important. I am putting it out here. After corrosion, let's talk about bunkering. Another important video which I am discussing out here. What all we need to check density. How do we calculate taking bunkers? What is the role of density? What is the role of temperature? And what is the unit? Everything from the basics is being discussed over here. From the very basics, I am talking about calibrators over here. How does a temperature calibrator look like, and how does it work? Uh, this is a temperature switch fitted over here. Then I am talking about how does a pressure calibrator look like, and how does it work? So you can see this is a pressure calibrator fitted in a CO2 room line on the pressure switch. Cop it, guys. Then let's talk about cooling water tests on main engine. Main engine cooling water test being carried out. So that has also been discussed out here in these videos. Then hydraulic jacks operation, guys. First of all, the theory. You cannot get open up a main engine or a generator without understanding the theory of hydraulic jacks. Very, very important. Very critical. So first of all, I'm checking the spares. I'm showing you. Then I'm discussing the theory over here. Can you see the theory part? And then, once the theory has been discussed properly, we will go carry out this out here. <clears throat> see, these are how a hydraulic jack operation is carried out. Can you see? Many people forget the concept of about uh, when we are opening and when we are closing. We need to know that very well. This is the hydraulic pressure being applied. So very very important video, guys. We need to know this. We need to understand this. Then coming to the lubes part, I have discussed here the complete lubes part, like the lube oil chart. What is the main engine crankcase oil? Where is the main engine cylinder oil? What is the diff? Why are there different different TBNs? All other kinds of lube oils. A complete engine room round is being taken. So each and every oil is being discussed. These are the various lube oil tanks with their MSDS sheet fitted over here. This is the name of the lube oil over here. Silkair DCA 5040. So what does 50 mean over here? What does 40 mean? These are the quick closing valves fitted. These are the quick closing valves fitted. Now we have come to the lube oil that is steering gear room where the lube oils are kept. So let's take a round of the lube oil places. These are the small lube oil drums being kept over here. Can you see? This is the lube oil. This is the place where 20 liters containers of lube oils are kept. This is the MSDS sheet kept over here, where we can check which lube oil can have what all consequences. Cop it. So apart from this, ah, this video is continuing. This is a long video, guys. Then I am discussing main engine cylinder oil in detail over here. Why are we changing main engine cylinder oil when we change over the heavy oil? What are the important factors to remember when we change over the cylinder oil what is the importance of cylinder oil what is the tb of cylinder oil and why all these things have been discussed in theory over here copy not just that i have discussed the minimum feed rate feed rate over here this is 0.85 gram per kilowatt hour what is this how do we calculate this how do we check this all these things are discussed over here copy it guys <clears throat> i have made a small round on grease as well Where is grease kept? What is the role of grease? Different kinds of grease are there. Uh, how to check which grease has to be put in which place? Very very important. It has been discussed. This is the steering gear room where the grease has been put. I am showing you some grease points from where we put grease. This is the steering gear system in which we are putting the grease right now. We have got a lube oil chart as you can see. This is in my hand. So we know which kind of grease has to be put in which place from this place out here. Apart from that, from scene system, I got. I am talking about steam hammering over here. Very, very important video. What happens? Why does steam hammering take place? How does steam hammering happen? Is being discussed. Then steam hammering live. I we can hear the voice of steam hammering. Dum, dum, dum. It's happening out here. We are discussing that. Then I am talking about steam traps out here. How does the steam trap work? There are many types of steam trap. I am just discussing the one which is on board my ship. So I am just talking about that. Then vent heads, another important video. First of all, let's talk about the vent head theory. What are these vent heads all about? Why are they required? 
what do they do what is their function everything is discussed in detail over here uh, now then i take you live outside to show you the vent head oh what a beautiful view outside right so this is the vent head i have opened up a vent head to explain to you guys the importance of vent head can be known from this important view that if this vent head damages there are chances that your whole ship can sink for knowing why how you need to watch this video so i'm discussing that over here and guess what after completing this story part we will show you something else what is this happening over here from a vent there's a lot of water coming what is this happening you need to know that as well copy it let's put this an end ball remote control system so in this you press a small button and a big wall somewhere 200 meters away from you on board ship opens up or closes it is because of a ball remote control system so this is the ball remote control system that i am discussing over here this is the hydraulic pump developing pressure this is the valve which will open or close presently it is in closed condition which can be seen by the indicator over which is in red condition can you see it is written close so and i am explaining and we can hydraulically also open and close the valve by this hydraulic pump out here pop it so this is valve remote control system we have got blower flaps fitted and funnel flaps fitted see and blower flaps what are blower flaps i have explained over here then we are going to take a small round and see how a blower flaps is operated and closed then we'll go for funnel flaps we will operate the funnel flaps and we will see how a funnel flaps operate over here can you see this and then we are going to carry out a remote funnel flaps operation without even touching from up above this place and you will see that the you will see that the funnel flaps are going to shut down you see can you see how is this happening that is something that we need to discuss in detail and that is where the theory parts come into play and that is what i am discussing over here copy it so you need to understand that again not just ending over here we have got bunkering we have got a videos on bunker calculation how to take sounding first of all bunker calculation theory is discussed over here what is weight what is density what is mass what is allage how do we take sounding what is how do we measure allage what is list how do we measure the volume is being discussed over here every person who is going to go as a fourth engineer needs to watch this video once in a lifetime how do we take a mdo tank sounding how do we take a hfo tank sounding can you see so that is being discussed apart from that this is the bunker sounding explanation this is a chart how we prepare this chart how do we calculate how much bunker is there available on board ship that is being discussed over here copy it not just that guys bunker system explanation theory how do we transfer settling and service tank on board each and everything is covered out here can you see okay let's not move ahead we have got bunkering system bunker line pressure testing bunker related photos bunkering process bunker hose disconnection bunker samples being filed and tags put as soap paper arrangement while bunkering can you see a soap paper arrangement what is soap paper arrangement why it is put over here that is been discussed okay what bunker paperwork being completed what all we need to take care of that is being discussed what are these bunker samples for guys it remains a lot similar on every ship that you go so if you understand the why the concept it will become easy for you to when you go on ship to understand the process then bunker line pressure testing and everything on bunkering is over here then comes flow meter another very important videos how does a flow meter work how does it calculate how much fuel has been consumed each day every 24 hours you take a flow meter reading a junior engineer goes takes a flow meter reading fourth engineer calculates sometimes the chief engineer calculates and the basic concept needs to be clear everything is big discussed over here guys in detail from density to mass to volume to temperature everything what temperature to take and everything is being discussed over here that is important along with the practical engine room round So in the end all I want to say if you want to know more about achievers package what all contents are available go through this playlist and you'll find it all out there and make a decision that shapes your career in the best possible way Jai Mata Di